hey, hey, Coach Pam here today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing wonderful. Yes, I am black by popular demand. Um, I want to do a lock tag video for you today. And it's a 20 question lock tag. Um, I am locked, so yes, here we go. Diving right in. Um, what made me want to start locks? I would say this is my second time around. I was locked from 2006 to 2012 before, so uh, locks are not new to me. Uh, my sister has been locked for over 15, 16 years as well. So yes, lock game. I'm ready for you again. Number two, who's my lock crush? I would say I don't really know if I have a crush, but I look to my sister, uh, Zen Lioness, Yanni the Lockologist. Uh, Big Spirit Energy and Keisha Charmaine on here, okay? Um, what do I think about the ugly stage? I don't know if there is an ugly stage. Um, you just have to realize that it's a part of the process. So yes, uh, it, that's you got to take it all together if that's what you're wanting. Locks. Number four, what's my favorite thing about locks? I would say walking out the door when it's time to go somewhere, um, my hair is already permanently styled. So yes, being ready to go. Number five, how often do I wash my locks? So in the summertime, obviously you're more active, you're outside, you're sweating more. So generally every couple of weeks, but if it comes a time to where it needs it, then I am going to um, <clears throat> tend to it. So every couple of weeks normally. Um, how long have I been locked? I would say two and a half years. So yes, okay And can you wear the styles with locks? Of course you can so um, You can also if you want to do extensions braids twists on top of the locks sew-ins uh, You can even take the locks and curl them in different types of uh, pipe cleaners rollers rods Seriously, it's all up to you be creative um how is it like dating with locks? So I don't have that issue. I know a lot of women say that, you know, men are judgmental. They're looking at this. They're looking at that. Well, guess what? They're not the person for you if they are concerned with your hair. Okay. So they should accept you for who you are. It's a part of you. Uh, number nine, do I experience discrimination in the workplace? I would say, um, based on my performance, presentation, confidence level, uh, that's what people are mainly focused on uh, in the workplace, from my experience. But, you know, you may get the stares and the looks, but as a black woman, we normally do so many things with our hair anyway. We change it up, we switch it up, we're always in braids or weaves or wigs, so I would say people are used to us um, switching it up. Uh, number 10, do I let people touch my hair? Um, I don't really mind if people want to touch my hair. It's not really a thing that bothers me. Um, so yeah, I haven't had a problem there. Number 11, uh, do I style my locks uh, di different ways? So yes, there are different uh, things I do. I do curl them sometimes. Sometimes I um, add lock jewelry, that kind of thing. So yes, you can embellish it with other uh, fun scarves and ties, okay? And head wraps number 12 will I ever cut my locks so being that I am versatile and pretty much a free spirit I can say that that could possibly be a thing okay so yes that's possibly gonna happen don't know how soon number 13 do I have a particular regimen so um, I do use rose water essential oils shampoo um, so yeah, I don't know if I really have a certain regimen like Mondays is hair day or wash day. Now when I was loose natural, that was a, something that had to be a day dedicated and devoted to loose natural hair because of the detangling. But if you have the kind of hair where you can, you know, detangle, you know, in a breeze, great for you. But hey, to me, I was so tender headed, I couldn't do it anymore. Uh, number 14, do I condition my locks? Uh, that will be a no with locks. You don't want conditioner to build up in the locks. Number 15, how many locks do I have? I would say maybe I've combined so many because I didn't want the smaller locks. So I would say I'm at roughly in the 60, 61, maybe 58 
maybe I'll count them someday. Um, what method did I use to start my locks? So initially I went to a stylist and I had comb coils, um, but I did combine some um, in the way of just a braid and some twists. So I have a couple different techniques going on in here. Um, number 17, what is my favorite product? Um, I would just say water. Um, I do put a little rose water, like I said, essential oil, um, a little vinegar, lemon juice. Um, I'm pretty simple with this set, set of locks. Number 18, um, do I experiment with lock jewelry? Yes, there are lots of people to sell lock jewelry. You can make jewelry yourself. Um, yes, so yes, but you want to make sure that your locks are at least a year plus in the mature stage before you start getting into the jewelry. Um, number 19, uh, have other lock wearers um, responded to you different uh, in, in a certain way? I would say when I'm out and about, I do get the, hey, what's up? You know, you do get the little like, you know, bump or whatever, or they'll point at you and you'll point them, you know, that kind of thing. So it's like a nonverbal uh, but sometimes they'll communicate, hey, sister, I like your locks. Or I'll be like, hey, brother, I like your dreads or whatever. Yeah, so I would say that we do have that um, unsaid, unspoken connection um, because your hair is a root and you literally watch it grow like a baby. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, if, if you're looking to grow them. Some people keep them at a certain length and they're content with them, but just that. But, yes, you are going to stand out. Um Majority of black America does not have locks, so wherever you go, you're going to stand out. Even if you cross paths with someone else with locks, um, you, you both are going to stand out. Um, number 20, the final question is, do I cover my hair? So yes, I saw all the pollen and all the stuff flying around, so when I walk, I do try to wear hats. Uh, scarves are going to be a challenge because it's going to be humid, you know, most days now once a heat wave hits. Um, you don't want to be out there sweating in your head. And I'm a head sweater, so pretty much a hat is how I do it. But at night, I do sleep on a satin pillowcase. Um, every now and again, I will cover it with a scarf. Uh, but yes, I hope you got something out of this. I want to see you uh, post your questions below. And also, I want to see your videos. So yeah, so go ahead and post yours. I'll follow you as well. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.